Apparently someone was uh, thinking they were jacking the beanstalk trying to bury some magical beans. Ugh. Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, I have a life at camp video for you today. Winston and I drove about three and a half hours to an area outside of Williams to try a new spot. So this spot is uh, similar to the places that we've been in the fact that it is forested and we have ponderosa pines here, but we are camped next to a beautiful meadow with the view of a small mountain that is covered in trees. It is beautiful. I also really like this forest floor because it's not as dusty and it's super soft on Winston's paws, uh, except for that fly is driving me nuts. So I don't have good cell service here. We tried to come here last weekend, but there were so many people. It was absolutely packed and, uh, Thankfully, it's pretty empty now after Labor Day weekend, of course. I had like no traffic today too coming up north, which was fantastic. So uh, the cell service is not good enough to upload videos, but it is good enough to like stream my baseball games and watch some YouTube, get on Facebook, uh, whatnot. But Maddie has Starlink again. So that is now opening up the possibilities to where we can camp. Um, especially because next summer we plan on going to the Oregon coast. So Oregon, here we come. This will be Winston. Uh, this will be our first time. Winston and I have never been to Oregon. So we'll be spending the summer on the Oregon coast next year, probably in July. So Starlink opens up all of those options for us and I'm excited to get you some content while I'm here. We will be here for uh, the next week, and then I'm heading up to Payson, Arizona to start the remodel with my mom on her new house. It's going to be awesome. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's just get into it. We arrived at our new campsite, and look at our view. It looks out at a beautiful meadow next to a mountain with trees. There are lots of big campers on the other side. We came through here last week, but it was absolutely packed with people for Labor Day weekend. So I got a great level spot in the shade, but still with plenty of sun for solar when I need it. Looking forward to spending five days here or six days here. Camp is set up for now. I think I got uh, most everything done. I even started a meal on my hot logic because my tummy was growly. So it takes about an hour, which is great because I can just set it and let it go. Look at how cute my little decor is. I still have like kind of summery vibes going on right there, but I got this new Halloween welcome sign, a Dollar Tree. I'm using just a little suction cup hook from my heat shield because this is like super cheap and lightweight as you can see that's basically like thick cardboard but I thought it was super fun because it goes with the colors of my van and I like that sort of like witchy spooky type thing so I just thought it was cute it'll be lit up tonight which will be pretty I can put my um, faux purple candles out as well but only if I'm sitting outside because I like to use them in my van. As it as we get a little closer to Halloween, I will make my little table decor a little more spooky. I opened up my hood, of course, to cool it off. And uh, nothing. I haven't moved anything in the van. I still have my pillows and all my blankets in place because it's just so gorgeous out right now. There's no need to be in the van. But I did get organized, and like I said, I have my Hot Logic running. I started, I had a three and a half hour drive today, so I actually had my set power fridge plugged into my van rather than my power station, so I wasn't drawing the power. I was like, why am I not just plugging it into my van? It's like totally unnecessary to use the, the power from my VTOMAN. Um, so Maddie and I were just sitting out and chatting. I have my collapsible trash bin and my shower over there, just not using it quite yet. I have my 
remote control candles. I just need to put them in place. I had taken them inside my house because they will literally, it's, it is kind of like a waxy material. It will melt in my van if I leave it outside in the valley, um, at least right now. Although, actually, we've had weather in the 90s. Hi, are you eating grass? Or what are you eating? So it hasn't been too bad, but got my water table set up. All my power stations. I need to move my Jackery. You okay? And then I think my food will be done in about half an hour. I have gorgeous views outside my trunk for when I get in the van later. <clears throat> and I picked a really nice level spot, but it is right off the road. Easy entrance. And we're about... 15 minutes from Williams itself. I saw Winston eating something over here and I was like, oh my word, what are you eating? I came over here and the ground was layered with what looks to be uh, pinto beans. So I carry a small shovel from Harbor Freight in my rooftop box. I shoveled them. I attempted to shovel them into that bag, uh, but they're more like on that bag. Now I'm going to pick them up with this trash bag. People tend to dump their food and things, but you just, you know, never know what animals are trying to or may ingest it. And of course, I don't want Winston to get sick. So I will dispose of the nasty food properly. Oh, I thought he was sitting right there. And this is the little shovel that I carry with me. It has come in handy for quite a few situations. I didn't show my collapsible trash bin in my most recent van tour video that I uploaded last week. You can purchase these at Walmart or on Amazon. I got this one on Amazon, actually. It has the zipper lid. But ever since, uh, I think it was probably a raccoon, maybe a fox, but a raccoon tried to get into it about a month ago, I've been spraying my trash bags and my trash can with my Grandpa Gus mouse repellent because it does have the peppermint and cinnamon in it. And that has been keeping any critters out. I also spray the bottom of it with bleach and the trash can outside with Grandpa Gus. And that seems to do the trick. Since we're right next to this big uh, field meadow area, Maddie has the Starlink sitting out so there's no obstructions, which is nice because sometimes when you get into these forested areas, like at the places we've been previously, uh, there's not a clear line of sight, but this is great for that. And Maddie just did a bunch of speed tests. It sounds like we're getting anywhere from like 22 to 30 download and 6 to 8 upload, so... My cell service is fine when it comes to the download. It's just uploading videos that we really need the Starlink for. Oh, kid. Do you want to wave, Maddie? So we're just chilling and hanging out and uh, messing with the Starlink. I put my Rock Pals out with my Vitomin since I forgot to charge it up at home. And I have plenty of sun this evening. It's about 5 o'clock. We noticed there are little mole holes around here. So we might see some moles that Winston will want to chase because he's a little hunter dog. Ooh, it's warm in the sun, but I think the forecast is showing low 80s, high 70s for the week. Y'all, I just checked the forecast because Maddie said it was really cold this morning. It's supposed to get into the 40s tonight, y'all. Like, that's chilly. And at all times, I carry at least one down blanket. So I am busting that baby out because <laughs> it is going to be chilly. But guess what? I like it. It's snuggly. So at least I'm prepared.
I did want to remind you all that we have a new Adventuring with Amanda Facebook group. You can search it. Uh, it's just Adventuring with Amanda in the search bar of Facebook, or I have left a link in the description of all my new videos. Um, so you can click that to join. Remember to answer the two questions in order to be approved for the group. And like this video uh, if you enjoyed it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And Winston and I will see you next time.